Bonjour ni hao! Welcome back to the Game Boys channel. I'm Johnny. And I'm Tim. And today we're here with an office, office box. box! This is our holiday office box, and you may be asking yourself, where did your fall box go? Was there a fall box? <laughs> and the answer to that is, it's in our house, and we are not doing an unboxing on the channel. Yeah, we kind of peaked, yeah. and wasn't great. <laughs> so we will have that unboxing on our TikTok if you care to look at that over there. The Office Box is a Culturefly product and we love the Culturefly subscription mm -hmm. boxes and we will link the information to the box and all of the Culturefly products below but this box retails quarterly for $39.99. Um, we've always normally been happy with the Office Box. I mean, some more than other but I don't know why, it just wasn't... Yeah, it shipped super, super late so... We were confused what box it is because it didn't have like Christmas kind of stuff on it. So we're like, we had to re-look up like, oh, did we miss a box? And like, we forgot about it. We did. So we kind of just like looked at the top and when you do that, you see everything. So we're like, no, we oh God, we need to kind of like look in there more. And we're like, ooh. 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 <laughs> very big miss so we're like you know this one was scheduled two days after we received that one so we're like we'll just wait and just do the Christmas one for Vlogmas. Yes and we love the Christmas episodes of The Office like they're so much fun and like so iconic in terms of like we, there's Funkos from those episodes there are wonderful quotes and you actually noticed him the quotes on the outside of the box. <laughs> it's so funny. And yeah, the box is decorated like all Christmassy. It says Happy Holidays from Dunder Mifflin. And that's probably not a tree that Phyllis did. But if you remember this episode, so you have the banner that says, The party planning committee invites you to a Nutcracker Christmas, 3 p.m. And then this side, says the committee to the two planned parties warmly invites you to a margarita karaoke Christmas. I feel like, what was it, 2.45? Yes. They should have had, I don't know if that was on the sign though, but I think it was. Um. What is that? The committee to plan parties invites you to a margarita karaoke Christmas? I'm trying to remember. I'll probably insert a clip of that, but I think, what was it Ryan say? It's like, I missed the day that there were two parties I didn't, or one party I didn't want to go to. <laughs> uh, because I would have gone to Karen and Pam's party. I would have not gone to Al uh, Angela's. <laughs> Right? Poor Phyllis. Um, what's the other Christmas light? Oh, it's her tiny little lights when she's like, I got the tiny ones. Phyllis, you got the lights? Yes, I got those cute little ones. Do you think I should have gotten the big ones? We'll see. Uh, but without further ado, let's open this. Uh, they now add the Peacock logo because all of the offices are streaming on Peacock. Oh, and I forgot there is... Every, you just said everything's on top. So this is a spoiler card which says Happy Holidays from Dunder Mifflin. We will open that, uh, show you that at the end. But the very first thing I am going to grab is just a box. We're not going to grab the plush. This is a Dwight on Desk plush doll. Oh. Ooh. Well. <laughs> oh no, this feels like a miss too. This is from one of my fake. Oh god. It's like an elf on the shelf. But it's a Dwight on a... What rhymes with Dwight? Slight? Fight? <laughs> Might? Dwight's not so bright. A Dwight not so bright. Ugh, that's creepy. That's weird. Um, we talked about this in another video. We don't do Elf on the Shelf. Like, I was <laughs> too old. We were both too old by the time that was a thing. Yeah. And then I don't care to do it. <laughs> but this is cr kind of creepy. It's like a Dwight, uh, like, Elf on the Shelf. And you could, like, set him up with, like, holiday decorations. I mean, it's fine. But it is a little creepy, and it's like a, a plastic head and a cloth body. Ooh. And this is when he was the elf at the Secret Santa. And uh, that was the year that Phyllis got that, or Mike got that oven mitt from Phyllis. 
I was looking for that Funko Pop, but it's like super expensive. Well, now we have it as a weird plush. <laughs> I'm going to say this is a miss, though, because I don't know yeah, what I'm ever going to do with that's, it. I mean, the idea was clever, but like, Ooh. if you're not going to get it to look like exactly right, right, I would say just don't do it. Ooh. Okay, I feel like some kind of shirt. It's like massive. Well, we always get these in like an oh, extra, extra large. Oh, it's a sweatshirt! Oh, this is cute. <laughs> it says, presents are the best way to show someone how much you care. <laughs> oh, this is cute. I love the color. And it's like <laughs> a lightweight one. So this is a win already. So I would say this is kind of like, I would say 20 to $30, which is like, Almost what the box costs. And then they always put the little office logo on the bottom. So that you know it's from the office. <sighs> oh, I like it. I really like this color. And I like how there are sweatshirts that are like kind of like lightweight. Yeah, um, crew neck lightweight sweatshirts are all the way to go. It is like a fun mint color. Mm -hmm. I do like that. Um, I think now green is whorish. <laughs> All right, I feel another small box. We're gonna grab this. Is this a, mis a blind box? Corporate shot glass. Oh, I know it. <laughs> this is the Christmas gift that when they did the Moroccan Christmas that Phyllis was like, uh, they were doing that intervention for um, Meredith. Meredith. And then Phyllis goes, I was going to give out the gifts from corporate, but I don't <laughs> think that they're appropriate. Oh, and it says even Happy Holidays from Dunder Mifflin. That's, <laughs> That's funny. funny. It's like a little card you could use. Right? Like, this is the actual corporate gift. And then there, it, it came packaged. And then it's a Dunder Mifflin, uh, very easy, straightforward shot glass. Or as some people call them, toothpick holders. I really like when the office does items like this. That, like are actually from the show. <laughs> like when they did the teapot, or when we got the robe that they used as a Christmas present that one time, and they stole the robe from Toby. <laughs> Take it from Toby. But this is, this That's is really That's really cool. creative. I like this one a lot. Yay! It's not just like... A shot glass, like it's a, meaningful. It's not just like a thumb in a... Um... <laughs> <laughs> the pop can thumb! From the Friends box we did? Oh man, that was so bad. If you want to laugh, we'll link that down below, but we've never done the Friends box again after that. But yeah, they put like a thumb in a cup. Well, because in the first season of Friends, Phoebe found a thumb, yeah, but it was, but... it was like a, it wasn't even a koozie, it was like a weird plastic thing that went around a soda cup. It was a mess. Okay, I'm feeling another kind of like... <gasps> oh! <laughs> Shirt. That's so funny. <laughs> oh, it's the oven mitt that Phyllis took forever to make. Didn't she make him one going away too? That was the whole point. Is that like after that at first or the second season Christmas episode where he hated her pr presence so much? <laughs> at the, his last day, she was making him another one, and he was like trying to be kinder. That was cute. It says, "I only care about you," in oven mitt's worth. <laughs> Oh, this is cute. And we don't have any like holiday specific oven mitts. So this is cute. It does look like it could be like knitted or crocheted. Super cute. This is a fun item. We should be doing this like Yankee Swap like we used to. Then I, my favorite item is the oven mitt so far. Oh, get it Phyllis. All right, I am gonna grab, an, I, I'm grabbing like all the boxes. So I'm gonna, I'll save the, I think there's always an enamel pen, which I feel. So I'm gonna not grab the pen, but I'm gonna grab another small box. Mm. Snowball Squishy. Oh. From episode when, when Dwight and Jim have that, the snowball fights. Is it just like a stress ball? Yeah. It's a, not a snowball, it's a snowball fight. It's not fun. I think that's, yeah, these are one of the like ones that take forever to fluff back up. People are like super into these. I don't know, maybe this is one of those things that I just was too old for, but like I never got into squishies, but let's see. This is the squish, and then there it comes back. So like, squish! Oh, this is more fun than I thought it would be. But I don't know if I ever, I don't know. It makes sense because of the snowball episode, and I can throw it at people. Let's see if I can catch. Yay! 
Parkour! <laughs> I mean, and fun. It says it's a snowball fight. It's not fun. Did you read that? Yeah. Oh, I didn't hear you. We can play with Tati. <gasps> snowball! Yeah, it's like. I don't know what a squishy is supposed to feel like. I don't know either. I don't really. Like, squishies and slime I don't get, but... Again, too old for that. To eat your own. But then again, like, our generation had, like, pogs and beanie babies, you know what I mean? Well, so it's pogs like... actually... That would only last, like, a year, even, like, <laughs> in our generation. The marvels of our generation. I'm okay, right. we have the pin. <gasps> Big reveal. Big reveal. <gasps> oh! oh, I love it. This has to go on our Christmas pin board. <laughs> We, last year we got the Dwight teapot. Oh, this is cute. It says, Michael, we want Phyllis as Santa. That's an interesting pen, though. It it's, feels kind of cheap, actually. Because it's not an enamel. It's like, it's weird. Like, it's a glossy yeah. hidden like on an enamel pen. Oh, well, that's interesting. But the concept is cute. Execution, maybe, could use a little bit more work. And they're always on these really cute backer cards. Oh, Phyllis Santa's my favorite. We actually have her Funko Pop pre-ordered, and of course it's gonna come after Christmas because Funko is so far behind on everything. <laughs> I didn't realize until just now that the oven mitt's on the box. Oh. <laughs> Alrighty, uh, I think there's only a couple things, so I'm gonna open this up. All right, the next thing I see is a magnet set. Let's open these. Why not? I see a robe. Right? How do I open that? Oh, there. There's a thing at the bottom. Oh, they're all the holiday magnets. Okay. <laughs> so, this is... The first magnet is the Dunder Mifflin robe I was talking about. Then there's a world's best boss with a candy cane. I don't like candy canes in my coffee or hot chocolate. I don't know. <laughs> Comment below. Uh, but I do like whipped cream. Uh, cute little holiday stocking. Dwight as an elf kicking over the tree. And then Phyllis's sad tree with the tinsel. I forgot that these are magnetics. <laughs> magnets. We, don't, we won't keep these here, but for the time <laughs> being, we can just put them there. There we go. <laughs> magnets! Yeah, that's fine. Um. Hey, I don't want to say anything, but Christy Masters put magnets on your back. <laughs> Christy Masters stuck magnets on your back. Okay, this one thing I'm I'm actually kind of into. <gasps> so, oh yes, so gift label sheets where you could put obviously on presents to from. This one's funny. <laughs> the... <laughs> So this is cute. Oh, the one for Pam. Mm -hmm. And it was, I don't know why, maybe this is something that like different households and like families have, but you, it wasn't until I married you that I ever used tags. Really? No, my family didn't do them. We just used to do like color-coded paper, but we never did tags. That's weird. We always did tags. But like Santa presents were always in like one Cause color. Cause it's like we go to other families and like to give your friends, you'll get confused. So these are all the two froms, and it has the robe, a bunch of different things. There's the teapot. This one's really funny, Angela's poster. And you have other little Dunder Mifflin things. I like those. Are yeah, cute. these are cute, because last year we actually got wrapping paper, so we still have it. So like if any of our people like The Office, this would be perfect. Cute, and I think there's one more item, but the inside of the box is like super cute too. Mm -hmm. There's like all of the Christmas We uh, always keep these boxes. Yes. These are really cute. The $400 iPod. All right, the last item is, oh, holiday invitation mini art prints. These are cute. <laughs> I normally don't like the paper goods, but if it's like holidays, like I'm super into them. So it's basically the side of the box. But that's, that's really cute. But you can use these as like little note cards and like holiday cards and like thank you notes or whatever. But these are super cute and I love these. Okay, so looking at the spoiler card and we can kind of go through the value. You already, so we have the holiday sweater which you said was like what, $20? I'd say 25 25 It's really nice quality. Gift label set, 
uh, like two. two. The pin, even though it's an epoxy pin, not an enamel pin, that's why five. it's epoxy. Mm -hmm. uh, the oven mitt, five. The invitations, a dollar. The shot glass, like eight dollars. The magnet set, five. And the snowball, like five. And the Dwight on the desk, plush. Like ten. So I would say that this box was definitely quantity over quality comparatively to some other office box we've gotten because there were a lot more paper goods and a lot more like small things but <laughs> I'm not mad like all of it yeah. was like this was and, and again going back to the fall box like this is a step up from that fall box whatever yeah. that was which we haven't uploaded obviously we said before but our summer box was good yeah so. again normally the office box is one that we're like Either it's like fine and like it's we definitely still feel we got our value or it's like better than fine. But we've never had that one that was like bad bad. Oh, remember the one with the chili though? Yeah, and the foot. That one was bad. But again as a recap, here are is the spoiler card. Those are all the ornaments Angela cracked when she was like pissed and angry. And then there is a recap of all of the items. I think my favorite item is actually the oven mitt, because it held such special place. And mine is the sweatshirt because it's really cute. Yeah, the only items I don't really care for are the Dwight doll thing. And the magnets are kind of like throwaway. But. And I would find the snowball. But this is still better than half, so. Yeah, let us know what your favorite item is down below. And if you're like us, because around the holidays, like in addition to holiday movies, I love rewatching episodically just the Christmas episodes like of shows. So like all of the office holiday episodes or like all the holiday episodes of like the middle. So if that is something you also do, comment below. I used to watch all the Glee episodes unrelated to The Office, but they just took it off of Netflix. So it's like nowhere to be find, found now. So. Sorry, Glee. Uh, but if you like watching holiday episodes, please take a moment to give this video a like. And if you're not a subscriber and enjoy pop culture, Disney, and lifestyle related content, be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you are a subscriber, thank you so much for joining us today in this Vlogmas video. And we can't wait to see you tomorrow. Take care and be well. Bye.